Hello, today we're uh, turning a commutator, it's a pretty good sized one. I already got started on it, I just wanted to see if I was going to... I've been using the uh, coated carbides, today I'm going to try uh, uncoated carbide. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find the box for that carbide. It's a... Uh, Valinite, I only got like one left. The TPG 434. Get it out of the box here. There's a number on the back. That's a, that's a Valinite. There's a bunch of different other brands too. That one seems to be doing a pretty good job. The guy that I do these for, you're always complaining about me leaving um, copper in the, the grooves there where the mic is at, and it's a lot of extra work for him to clean them out. I got the feed turned down as slow as it'll go. I'm running at uh, 265 RPM. Taking about ten thousandths cut at a time just to get started. We're starting to clean it up now, so I'm just gonna go like five and see what happens here. Usually they take about thirty to forty thousand to clean these things up. I switched over to WD forty two instead of the I was using cutting oil and it's just too gooey and gummy. Copper so soft that you need something to flush them chips out of the grooves. It seems to be working pretty good. takes a little while because I got the feed set so slow. I don't want to hog the, the cutter, which makes the chips mush over into the grooves. Just want to take a little bit at a time. I've been doing these things for years, trying to get it perfected. I think I finally found the right combination here. You only get one shot, you know. Every time you do it, you try to do a little bit different. Try to make it better, less work. These commutators, they got a shoulder on them right there. You can see where I stopped. They all, they're all built about the same way, no matter the size. Coming up to the shoulder now. There it is. Got ways to go yet. Looking pretty good though. Let me go another five. Pretty deep grooves in that thing. The brush is right there, that's why it's like that. Arcing out, the more they arc, the deeper the grooves get. I 
don't know what causes it. Dirt, poor contact, a couple factors there. I ain't no electric motor specialist, but I've done, like I said, I've been doing a lot of these things, and they all look about the same when I get them. While it's working there, I take a little coffee break. The cutter I'm using, it, like I said, it's uncoated carbide. Uh, I think it's like grade C5, something on that order. Relief angles like five degrees or seven, maybe. Just stand, just a general basic turning cutter. I don't get into the, uh, all the exotic cutters. I haven't really, I got a bunch in my toolbox, but these TPGs, just the triangle ones work the best. They're not that expensive. I think they're probably like 10, 15 bucks a piece. Coming up the shoulder, and there it is. Bump the camera there a little bit. Oh, we're getting there. The trick, the trick to turn these things is take off just enough to clean it up, no more. You take off more than you needed, then it gets too small, and the next time there won't be enough material there and the customer will end up buying a new commutator and they're rather expensive. Took off another five. That's five total, two and a half thousandths per side. WD's fizzling out here. I buy that stuff by the case. One thing nice about the WD, it doesn't gum up anything, it leaves it nice and clean, very little cleanup, leaves your machine nice. I used to use uh, water soluble oil and that leaves a sticky mess. At $175 a pail. In the summertime, in the, on them hot, humid days, it just, with that water in there, just uh, wasn't working. And it gets rancid, too. It starts stinking. It starts out blue, and then over time, it turns brown and nasty. WD, three, four bucks a can. Hey, it's worth it.
setup on these is pretty easy. You just stick it in the chuck and put the center in. Unless they take a puller. I'm going to bump the camera again. Unless they take a puller and stick it in the end there where the center's at and mushroom it all over. And then they're out around. So then you got a little bit more work there because you got to fix the center. Take off another five. And that'll be another video on how to fix the center. deep grooves in it. That's the deal with these things. They run them until they die. They don't run them for a while, take it apart, check the brushes, see if it needs new brushes. You put new brushes in, you can save yourself a lot of headaches. They run them until there's nothing left. You can see how the little chips are building up on the tip of the cutter there. Probably can't see it from that angle. A little mount ain't very good. Looks like we're getting close. Coming up to the shoulder. And then there it is. And the thing about these TPG, uh, the 434 is they got a 16th inch nose radius. So yeah, it leaves a little bit of a radius there on the edge, but ain't no big deal. You can see that old coolant nozzle up there on top. I don't even use it anymore. I'll probably just take it off. Garbage. Now, if you're running a CNC machine, yeah, you probably want full flood coolant, but. On these one-off projects, there's no sense in setting up a CNC machine to do this. It'll be a total waste of time.
I know that's a wave of the future, the CNC machines. Everybody thinks CNC, CNC, CNC. Well, it's not. It's more than just pushing a button. A nice long boring video but maybe it helps somebody out with all the trial and error I've done to get these things perfected years taking off 45 thousandths. This one was really bad. It's going to take 50 thousandths to clean this thing up. There's 50 right there. Another five. Five thousandths, 50 total from, from when I started. Copper is super soft, you can scratch it with just about anything. Coming up to the shoulder. There it is.
little spot. Wow. Go another five. Time consuming. That should do it. running out of stuff to say about this little project here but if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section there and I'll see if I can answer them for you Yeah, it looks easy and all, it is pretty easy, but you need equipment to do this kind of job. You just can't do it with nothing. And coming up the shoulder, you can see the line, and that's it. We got it. Cheers, folks. It's like brand new.